Welcome to this video learning session. When you complete this session, you will be able to create a Diagram Zero DFD. In this session, you'll learn about Diagram Zero and how it expands a context diagram to provide more detail, how to create a Diagram Zero DFD, and how you can use a case tool to create a Diagram Zero DFD. A context diagram is a top-level view of the system and the external entities that interact with it. In a context diagram, a single process, called process zero, represents the entire system. To see more detail, you must open up process zero. If you think of process zero as a closed box, Diagram zero is what you would see when you take off the cover and look inside. Diagram zero shows internal components, such as processes, data stores, and data flows, but you won't see any additional entities. All the entities that interact with the system appear on the context diagram, and they don't change. This is part two of the learning session. Let's begin by zooming in on process zero. A set of DFDs is like a company organization chart, where each level shows additional details. Using a top-down approach, you can work your way down to simple processes that a programmer can translate into program code. For now, we're only concerned with the next level below the context diagram. The grading system, which is process zero, contains four separate processes. Establish grade book, grade student work, assign final grade, and produce grade report. The red line represents the boundary of process zero. Inside the line, you can see the four processes and one data store, all connected by various data flows. How do we know what details to add as we create the DFDs? Whether it is a new system or an existing system, our DFD model is based on the results of interviews, surveys, document review, observations, and other fact-finding methods. Now we'll add the same three external entities that appeared on the context diagram. Next, we'll show the data flows in and out of process zero. These are the same data flows we saw on the context diagram. They don't change. Think of these data flows as different color wires that disappear into a black box. Now, with the cover off, we can see where those wires go. The context diagram is shown at the left. The entities are the same as diagram zero on the right, but diagram zero lets you see the internal details. If we hide the details, it's like zooming back out to a context diagram view. This was a simple example, but you would follow the same steps whenever you create a Diagram Zero DFD. This is part three of the learning session, where you'll learn how to use a case tool to create a Diagram Zero. The example uses the grading system diagram we created in an earlier learning session. After the context diagram, the next step is to create Diagram Zero. It's called Diagram Zero because it shows the inner workings of Process Zero. We use the same approach whether we are modeling a new system or an existing system. Visible Analyst organizes all the DFDs, so it's easy to find the context diagram and click to open it. In the context diagram, process zero represents the grading system. Three external entities interact with the system, student, instructor, and student records system. Six data flows connect to the grading system. We can right-click the process zero symbol and then click the explode command. This creates a lower-level diagram that inherits the overall characteristics of the parent, but adds more detail. If you think of process zero as the parent, 
The new diagram is the child. Visible Analyst displays the new diagram as a blank page with six data flows that are inherited from the context diagram. Now we'll add internal details that were not visible in the context diagram. We'll add four processes and one data store, just as we did when we created the diagram manually. We added the symbols, so now we're ready to attach the external data flows. The next step is to hook up the external data flows to the lower level processes inside process zero. With the external data flows attached, we can add the internal data flows. The Gradebook Data Store has three input data flows, Class Gradebook, Final Grade, and Student Grade, and two output data flows, Grading Detail and Class Detail. With the data flows connected, the Grading System Diagram 0 is done. We could show the external entities on the diagram, but it's not necessary because they don't change from the context diagram to diagram zero. The modeling process can continue many levels beyond diagram zero, as the textbook explains. For example, we could explode each of the internal processes and add more detail at each level. When is the model finished? That depends on the complexity of the system. The goal is to create a design that is accurate, easy to understand, and will meet business and user needs. In this session, you learned what a Diagram Zero DFD is and how it relates to a context diagram, how to create a Diagram Zero DFD, and how to use a case tool to create a Diagram Zero DFD. For more information, you can refer to the textbook or your student study tool. Now it's your turn to apply your skills and check your work. For background information, tasks to complete, and sample answers, go to the Management Information Systems Coursemate at www.cengagebrain.com. Select this text and navigate to the video learning sessions. Thanks for attending this video learning session.